Here's the deal, folks. She wants to get good at this. Mm -hmm. Jeannie Bouchard went into her first pickleball competition, she says, with very low expectations and nervous. Missed return. It took her a while to settle in, but she didn't look out of place. That's a nice rip from Bouchard. Even if to her, it felt that way. Like, I've played tennis for 25 years now, and so my brain is, like, wired for tennis. Well, the rewiring has begun. The 29-year-old shocked the tennis world last fall when she announced she was joining the Professional Pickleball Association, the PPA. Already called the fastest growing sport in North America, the Professional League wanted a player with a profile. How much she's being paid hasn't been released, but the transition for tennis players, she says, isn't easy. Yeah, you know, it's like, it's not like automatic. We're playing against people who have been training for pickleball for years, and so they know the ins and outs of it. Now, Bouchard is one of the most successful Canadian tennis players in history. She exploded onto the scene in 2014 with arguably the best year any Canadian has ever had. She made the semifinals of uh, the French Open, the semifinals of the Australian Open, and the finals of Wimbledon. So she made it to at least the final four or better of the first three majors of the year. Bouchard, you said it. There was at her peak, Bouchard was ranked fifth in the world. Now, she never came close to regaining her top form, but tennis observers say it was injuries, not a lack of effort. She still works her butt off. I mean, I've seen her in, in tournaments where she's been bounced early and she sticks around and she's still hitting the practice courts and she is working hard. And I think that's a side that the tennis fans and people that are quick to criticize her, they don't see the works that she's putting in. 7-4. Which also says she's amazed by how quickly pickleball is growing and that she wants to help. That said, she still plans to play tennis this year and admits she does find it sad when she drives by a tennis court that's being converted to pickleball. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.